The future of the dash cam is here. Mercedes-Benz recently launched this new feature into its 2021 models. Now you may be asking yourself, what is dash cam? How do you use it? And should you buy it? And in this video, I'll give you the answers to all of those questions. And if you stick around towards the end, I'll show you what it looks like in the real world. Hello, my name is Garrett and I'm the Automotive Guru. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more on how your Mercedes works, news and upcoming models, and all other Mercedes stuff, start now by subscribing. And if you comment down below, I subscribed, I'll do my best to reply back. So what is a dash cam? Well, it's an onboard camera that records video through the front windshield of the vehicle. Commonly, these devices will be suction cupped to the interior of the windshield and plugged in through either a cigarette lighter or hardwired directly into the vehicle. This device is typically used to record traffic accidents, infractions, disorderly driving, and much more. This dash cam option costs $200 and is labeled 21U, although you will also need the additional augmented video for navigation, option code U19, which costs $350. Now getting started, you'll first want to verify whether or not you have the dash cam equipped. And you can do this by looking at your MSRP for option code 21U labeled dash cam. Once you have confirmed that you have this option, you'll want to purchase a USB Type-C memory stick. And I recommend this one by SanDisk for its overall compact size and large storage capacity. Click the link down below in the description to get yours. You'll want to purchase, though, at least 128 to 256 gigabytes if you plan on using this for continuous use. We will then plug this into either the slot located in the center console or near the cup holders. After we have done this, we will move up to the media screen where we will ensure that we're on the home screen, which looks like this. And then we'll go from right to left until we see Mercedes Me and Apps. And we will press in on that and then we'll go from right to left until we see dash cam and we'll select that. Now we have a series of options. If we do individual recording, it means it'll record a single video for us. And then as soon as the medium is full or the storage is full, it will stop recording. If you go to loop recording, once you press start recording there, it will record. And then as it gets full, it will overwrite the old video that you had. So in order to start it, you'll press right here and that will start the recording. If you'd like to end it, you can press the end button. One thing to note though, is that if you turn off the car, the recording stops. And if you start the car, you have to actually start the recording again. So it doesn't actually automatically start every time you start the car. If you would like to delete a particular clip, you can press the bottom left right here and either select the clip that you would like to delete like so, or you can click the three little dots in the top right and delete all entries. A cool feature with this dash cam is the ability to view previously recorded footage on the vehicle itself. So we can do this by pressing the home button right here and then swiping from left to right until we get to media. Then we'll select media and we'll find the clip that we actually want to view. We will select it and then we will press the full screen button. And now you can see what I previously recorded earlier. Now that we have seen how to activate the dash cam, let's see what this looks like out in the real world. We'll first go through a grocery store parking lot, then we'll go on the main road and finish on a mountain drive. So here we are going through the parking lot of a grocery store. Grocery stores normally have a lot of different things going on and people not paying really attention, carts, kids, people walking all around. So it's definitely a good place to have a dash cam. We're out on the main road here and the video quality is 1280 by 720 P at 30 frames per second, if anybody was wondering. The future of the dash cam is here. Well, at least if you own a Mercedes Benz it is. No longer do you have to suction cup things to your windshield, have cables hanging all over the place. That's all over with. Hopefully though, they make it at least a standalone option in the future or maybe even standard. Now that you've seen how the dash cam works and what the video looks like, comment down below what you think of this option. The real question though, should you purchase it? And I believe yes, you should purchase the dash cam. It's great for personal safety, it's clear enough to get the detail you need out on the road, and you can't even tell it's there. Thanks for watching to the end, I really do appreciate it. If you found this video informative, click that like button, comment down below if you have any questions at all, and of course subscribe to be notified when future videos like this are released.